Hi and welcome. My name is Julianne Cost and in the next few minutes I'm going to walk through how we can create a new catalog on a laptop that we're going to take with us to a location shoot and then I'm going to show you how you can merge that catalog with your master catalog when you get back to the studio. So the first thing that I want to do before I get on the road is I want to set up my Lightroom catalog on my laptop. I'll create a new folder like I've done here just called new photographs or whatever you want to call it but it is important that you have a parent folder here and then you have a child folder for your photographs and the reason is is that we're going to create a new catalog and we're going to put it within this same new photographs folder and that's going to make it very easy when we are finished and we come back to the studio to copy over not only all of our photographs but also the catalog and because they're in this parent folder all of the paths will be correct, so we won't need to relink any files. Now, I'm going to demonstrate this on the laptop, and I'm gonna use the internal drive for the photographs because I have a very large, solid state, fast drive. If, however, when you go out on location, you're going to be using an external drive, then you might wanna think about putting this entire folder structure, the new photographs that would contain your photos as well as the catalog on that external drive, again, so that you don't have to relink any files when you come back to the studio. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new catalog. I'll go ahead and launch Lightroom, and we're looking at a different catalog right now, but to make a new one, I'll just choose File, and then New Catalog. Let's go ahead and call this On Location Cat, and we'll save it to that New Photographs Parent folder, and I'll go ahead and choose Create. So Lightroom can only have one catalog open at a time, so it would close the initial catalog and then go ahead and open this one. And if I just hide that for a moment, we can see, in fact, there's our new photographs, there's the On Location catalog, there is the LR Cat, and then all of the other files that support that catalog. All right, excellent, let's return to our Lightroom catalog. Now, at this point, you can continue setting up your new Lightroom catalog if you want to. For example, you might change out your identity plate, or maybe you don't ever use Smart Collections, so you could go ahead and you could just delete the Smart Collections if you didn't want to see them in there. You could also import any watermarks, and so you'd want to be sure that you get whatever you're using, if it's a logo or something, from your master computer and bring that over before you leave. You might also want to bring over some presets, maybe some develop presets that you might want to use on the road, or some templates that you have, like your metadata template for adding your copyright and contact information. If you do, you would want to go to your master catalog and you'd want to find all of those presets and templates and you'd want to copy them from your master catalog over to your laptop. It's actually very easy to find all of those files. I'll just show you a little shortcut here. If we go into our preferences, of course on Windows, this would be under the edit menu. You can go to your presets and then you can show your Lightroom develop presets and all of your other Lightroom presets. So these would be all of your templates. So you would be doing this not on your laptop. You would go ahead and go to your master catalog where you have all your presets and then you would find them and then you would copy those files over to your laptop and you would put them in the same location so all you'd need to do is actually click on each one of these buttons and you would have the settings folder open up for you that's what you would store all of your Lightroom develop presets into and then you could also show all of your other Lightroom presets and that way you could save all of your templates if you wanted to. Okay, so that's up to you. Um, just depends on if you have things on another computer that you want to use while you're actually out and about on location. In fact, what you could do is you could set this up once, this folder structure and the new catalog, and you could actually use this as a template. So you could just duplicate this every time you go out on location. That's up to you. All right, now let's imagine that I have gone out for the day and I've taken my photographs. Now, when I get back, I typically have more than one card and I tend to copy all of the images from all of my cards onto a specific location on my hard drive as opposed to importing them actually through Lightroom. So we can see here, for example, that I have a folder that I've named 519 
For me, it's easy to name folders by date while I'm on location. It makes it very easy for me to then later copy that entire folder onto a secondary drive so that I have a backup of all of my images. And so I'm going to just drag this folder into the new photographs into my photos folder so that we can see that it is now in the correct location. All right, then in Lightroom, all we need to do is click import and I'm going to navigate to the desktop using this little shortcut here. And then I will select the new photographs folder. And inside of there, we can see in photos, there is the 519 folder. So all I need to do is add these photos in place. We can choose what kind of previews we want to build. We could add information like develop settings or metadata. That's up to you. And then I will just import them. And that's going to import them into Lightroom, but it's, they're going to remain on the same location on the hard drive. All right, now let's imagine it's the next day and I have more images. Well, let's go back to the Finder and back to the desktop. And I'm going to copy these two folders from the next two days into the new photographs folder into the photos folder. So I'm gonna move them. If I said copy, that was a mistake. So now I have these three folders. Well, instead of actually importing one folder at a time, one of the things that we can do is if I show the parent folder of this 519 folder by right clicking and choosing show parent folder, then I can see the photos folder and the contents of that folder. Well, once I do that, then I can just right click and choose to synchronize the folder every day. Now, if you wanna do things like change keywords or something, then by all means, you can show the import dialog before importing. And I'll go ahead and do that. And it would show them to me so that I could change my keywords, but it's gonna go ahead and look inside the photos folder for any new additional files, and then it's going to import them. And again, it's gonna import them in place. And it looks like some of those have GPS data. So let's go ahead and enable that. And now we can see over here, I've got my 519, 520, and 521. All right, let's just do something really quickly to some of these images. Let's say I wanna rate some of the images. So I'm gonna grab my painter tool and set it to ratings. I'll go ahead and set it to two stars. And then let's go ahead and look at all of our photographs. And I'm just gonna go through and just rate a few of these images. Now you might not use star ratings, you might use colors instead, that would be fine, or maybe flags. You can just select whatever you want here, and then we could add some flags, or we could put that back, and I could just select some images and then tap say six and give them a red label. All right, so we've rated some of our images. We've also applied our metadata to these images upon import. Let's also make a collection of images. So I'll click the plus, do create collection, and let's call this dunes, and I'll set it as my target collection. Then I'll return to the paint can and change it to target collection. And then we can just scroll down here and I can quickly click on some of these sand dunes to add them to my collection. All right, so things like the ratings and the flags and the collections, those are things that are all stored in the catalog. Now let's put the tool back and let's select this image. And let's say I wanna make some changes in the develop module. I'll tap D and then we can go ahead and click on auto and it looks better and it's made changes. But let's say I also want a black and white version. Well, let's go under photo and choose to create a virtual copy. Now I have two thumbnails that represent the exact same photo on the hard drive, but let's turn this one to black and white. All right, so we'll go back to grid view, but of course we could go on and we could go create a slideshow or start putting together a book, whatever you want to do. And all that information is gonna be stored in the catalog. Okay, so let's imagine that I have just returned from this on location shoot, and now I wanna merge these two catalogs together. Let's go ahead and hide Lightroom for a moment. And I'll take a look, here are my new photographs with the two folders in them. I'm going to open up another folder and let's just pretend like I'm on my master computer now and I have a folder called Image Vault and in that Image Vault folder, I have a folder called 2023. And this is where I want to put the new catalog as well as the photos. 
So what I would do is I would copy the new photographs folder with the catalog and the photos over to my master computer. Now, I'm just going to pretend I'm doing it now because obviously I just have this laptop that I'm recording on, but I would just drag it right over. Okay, so here if we look in 2023, we can see that folder. Now, let's go ahead and launch our master catalog and see how we can do this database merge or merge these two catalogs. So I'll go ahead and open Lightroom and I want to now go to my other catalog. So I'm going to say open recent and go to the master catalog. It'll close that one and open up this one. And we can see here that I've got my image vault folder here and there's my 2023 folder. And I just need to merge the catalogs. I don't want to just import the photos because if I do, I won't get all of those flag ratings, I won't get the changes in the develop module, I won't get the collection I created, and I won't get the virtual copy. So I'll choose file and then I'm going to select import from another catalog. I will navigate to my demos files folder, go to image vault, to the 2023, to the new photographs, and go to my on location catalog and then I'm just going to double click or select choose in order to merge those two catalogs. And Lightroom's going to display this dialog box that's telling me that it's found all of these images in that catalog. They're all new, so I'm just going to add the new photos to the catalog without moving them. There aren't any overlapping or duplicate images because these are all new, and I'll go ahead and import those. And now we can see in the folder structure under new photographs, under photos, here are those three folders of photos. And we can also see those star ratings. If I scroll down, we can see the flags. We can also see the labels. If I scroll down in my collections, we can see that collection that I created called Dunes with the six images in it. We can also see the virtual file right here and the change develop settings if we go over to the develop module on this image. Excellent, now all I need to do is just tidy this up. I could rename the new photographs folder to something like California, and then I can select all of the photographs that are in all of these different folders by using edit, select all, and then just drag them into the California folder. Now, if I right click and say show in Finder or in Windows, it'd be show in Explorer, we can see there is the California folder. And if I scroll down to the bottom, there's the photos folder. But now all of these are empty, so we can go ahead and delete that. And we no longer need the on location catalog because we've done a merge of those two catalogs, so I can delete that as well. Then in Lightroom, all I'll do is right click on this photos folder and just choose to remove it and it would remove all those subfolders. So there you go, a quick and easy way that you can create a new catalog on your laptop to take with you on location and then merge the catalog when you get back to your master computer in your studio. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.